Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If I sound different than normal, it's because I just had a septoplasty done about five days ago. A septoplasty, for those who are not aware, is done to correct a deviated septum. I still have the stitches and both of the stents in my nose. They're not due to come out for another five days or so. The stents are not only bracing the center cartilage of my nose and keeping it perfectly straight up and down, but they're also holding both nostrils wide ass open. Now if I have any kind of, uh, if I have a bloody nose or a, a runny nose during the, uh, during the video or something else unflattering happens, well I'll just use my magical editing skills and edit that stuff out. All right, this is going to be something of an update video concerning the near-term future of the Soap Thing project. So we're just going to carry everything forward from the previous video because I am not the least bit afraid of using the same stuff more than once. Content creators, take note. You don't have to use different stuff every video. As long as you're bringing something new that's value-added, even if it's just a new conversation, People are going to tune in and they're going to watch it. Having said that, the stuff I used in the previous video was the tabac stick. And I made the mistake of referring to this as a non-tallow based soap in the previous video. It turns out mine is old enough that it is almost certainly a tallow uh, tabac stick of soap. In fact, uh, when I looked around and did some kind of some heavy poking around, I couldn't find a non-tallow based uh, tabac stick. All the refills and all the new uh, pucks like this, the sticks are uh, are all still tallow. So my mistake, I've got the matching aftershave. I can't smell hardly anything unless it's like really right up on me and then I can smell, I can vaguely kind of smell it just a little bit, but it's good stuff may as well use it because I like how it smells on me, so I want other people to smell me wearing it. The razor is going to be yet another shave with the Yates Titanium 921 Medium. The M was never intended to mean mild. If you ask uh, the fine folks over at Yates, they'll tell you that this is a medium aggressiveness razor. Not It was not supposed to be a mild razor. In fact, they've even said that they're des currently designing a mild razor. But this has a 0.64 millimeter blade gap, I'm pretty sure, and neutral exposure, 6AL4V titanium. And I'm going to use the same, uh, I think these are for, I think these are called Mooster blades. Mooster, Muster, I'm pretty sure it's not Muster. But either way, I got a good shave with these on the first time I tried them, so first impressions are leading me to want to use them again. And the brush is going to be the QED Select 6324, I almost called it the 4324, which is the other one. 6324, 24mm Manchurian Silver Tip. All right, let's do this. Okay, two days growth on the face today. Let's put this tobacco stick on the face. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I've shaved once before since I got back from the hospital and I did not shave my mustache. And that is because if I tried to use the typical uh, muscles that I would use to curl my upper lip down and lift my nose up that would yank on the stitches that are in my nose and that fucking hurts is what it does so we are just going to not do that I didn't need an excuse to grow my mustache back out again but it's nice to know I've got one
I left this brush pretty wet right from the outset. I wrung some of the water out, but not, not a ton. And that came to life pretty quickly. Get a little, just a little bit more water. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, uh, I don't know if we got enough for a second pass. Should have just enough. And I should probably put the blade into the razor. Let's just do that. These are some nice blades. I need to figure out uh, a place I can go to to get uh, a good amount of them. So I think I got these from the razor company. Okay, let's get started. So, recently, work has been busier than normal. It's getting to be that time of the year. The winter, in the Air Force, that's an annual performance report, or EPR season. So... People are doing a lot of that. And then I spent a, a week and a half in a distance learning course with Air University. And literally the day after that happened, I went downtown to Adana here in Turkey and had this septoplasty done, which uh, the uh, the hospitality and the services I got from the hospital was quite quite impressive. Not gonna lie. What does all this have to do with anything? Well, I've been getting that kind of busy where something had to give. And whenever that happens, the first things to go are my Instagram, watching other people's videos and responding to comments. So those are always the, the first three things to go when things get kind of busy for me. I've always found it funny that uh, people will say, oh, I don't have time to do content right now. Bullshit. When people say that, what they really mean is the other things that are going on in their life are affecting them such as, such that they are disinterested in making content. This idea that you simply don't have time is outrageous. I've made shaving videos before at midnight, zero one in the morning, because that's the only time in the day I could find to do it. And I kind of wish people would just be honest about that. Like, like they make these excuses like, oh, I don't have time when the reality almost certainly is that I'm just focused on other things right now. I'd rather be, be brutally honest with you. I don't anticipate that it's going to affect me putting out videos all that much. I wouldn't plan on seeing a uh, a video for the next week and a half so I wouldn't wait up for that and I plan on getting caught up on watching other people's videos to the extent that I can and responding to all the uh, 
comments I got in all of my videos here pretty soon. But this winter is just going to be busy enough that, uh, like I said before, there's only going to be about one video per week, maybe even sometimes less. And two or three videos might go by before I respond to comments just because uh, I gotta have the interest in making time to do it. And for those of you who've been part of the channel for a while, you know that it's already kind of been like that where uh, Two or three videos will come out, and then all of a sudden, boom, I answer everybody's comments. Well, that's... That's why. I love this blade, I'm telling you. The tobacco is plenty slick enough. If you took all my... All my other shaving soaps away and give me a few tobacco sticks and said have a nice life, I would not be, would not be unhappy about it. Okay, let's do a rinse. Mustache wasn't perfectly even. Oh, that kind of hurt. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not super worried about the Allen blocks. So let's just go straight to the aftershave. Okay, to back splash time. And I got to tell you, just standing here doing this shave uh, pretty much took everything out of me. I'm going to turn the camera off after this and probably go back to sleep for a few hours. But I'm one of those people that, uh, if I go too long without shaving, my skin starts to get irritated. It gets itchy and kind of just not fun to deal with. Okay. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that one. The next time you see me, I'm hoping to be pretty much back to normal. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.